this is uh, problems 12 thir or 13, 14, and 15 from your homework set. Um, basically, this one's just asking us to go from one form of another uh, of the interval to a another. All right. Um, this is your calculator's output for a particular z interval, meaning that we've tried to guess what the um, population mean is for a uh, a, a given uh, data set. In this case, it's the amount of tar and cigarettes. We're trying to come up with what's the uh, population, the overall average uh, number of milligrams in cigarettes from these king size um, cigarettes. All right, so our estimate is this from somewhere between 19.997 and 22.563 all right so that's what this is this interval is telling us okay they want us to compute the confidence interval in uh, a number plus or minus some uh, margin of error all right that's what this is sample mean plus or minus the margin of error that's the format we want it in well it's easy to find the sample mean your z interval on your calculator will always return sample mean so 21.28 all right and then the margin of error it doesn't return the margin of error because you can find the margin of error relatively easy from uh, this this data set so basically the margin of error is the distance from the middle out to either one of these numbers so the way the easy way to compute it there's actually multiple ways you could do it but any of these ways will work. All right, just take the big number uh, in the interval and subtract the small number. So 22.563 minus the small number 19.997. All right, take that and then divide by two. All right, 1.283. That's our number. 1.283. All right, but other ways that you could have oops other ways you could have done it um, take your big number 22.563 and just subtract what that sample mean is right uh, 21.28 and that'll also give you that same number right 1.283 right or you could have also taken the the sample mean 21.28 and subtracted the small number 19 point nine nine seven all right all those give you the same thing all right so all this is this margin of error is it's just the distance from the middle which is twenty one point two eight out to either one all right so any of those three methods will work to give you that number all right this is just making sure you understand the idea of what it is we're doing here we're using the sample uh, simple random sample of weights to come up with a guess of what the overall population is. So our sample had a mean of 149.01. Right? And our sample size was 45. All right, remember sample size being 45 gives us that nice bell-shaped curve. All right? So we've got a bell-shaped curve because of that and the sample mean of 149.01. All right, we want to know the best point estimate of the overall population mean of all women not just from this sample of 45 but of all women okay so this number is a sample mean we're trying to guess the population mean and our best guess your best point estimate your best guess is always your sample mean so 149.01 all right so anytime it's asking for your point estimate that's just your statistic so the sample mean in this case the 95 percent confidence interval all right, here's where we're going to go to our calculator. Oops. All right, the calculator, we need to we need to use this two values here, but all right, when you're estimating a, a population mean from a sample mean, that's going to be the job of one or two of these intervals on here. It's either going to be the job of the I'll bring it down to where they're at the top. It's either going to be the job of the Z interval or the T interval, right? We're computing a confidence interval, so it's going to be something that has interval in it. But the one that puts the mean, the population mean in the center is one of these two, Z or T. All right, and the way you know if it's Z or T is this. Do I know the population standard deviation? 
if I know this or if I'm given this then it's a z interval if I'm not given this then it's a t interval and this is where it's important to remember that there's a difference between population deviation and sample deviation All right for sample deviation we'll end up using t but if we know population we end up using z so this is a z interval All right we have statistics when asked here do you have data or statistics data would be a list of these uh, 43 or 45 uh, values we have the statistics we have the mean and the standard deviation all that all right so I'm going to come over here hit enter we have stats now it's one what is, what's the population deviation 32.59 what's the sample mean the sample mean is 104.901 or 149.01 all right and then what's your sample size n the sample size is 45 all right and then it says what's your level of confidence the 95 percent confidence level so it's already 95 so we just hit calculate and there's our z interval so we go from oops 139.49 the upper number is 158.53 right so there's how we go about coming up with that Remember, it's just the Z interval feature on your calculator stat under the test and then not Z test but with Z interval okay make sure you don't select test alright and then 15 very very similar study of the ages of motorcyclists killed in crashes involves a random selection of 161 drivers with a mean of 37.73 years All right they give us this assumption the population deviation is this so it wants to construct and interpret a 99 percent confidence interval to estimate the, the mean age of all motorists mean of all mean of all that's population mean so we're using a sample mean to estimate the population mean now again that's the job of either the Z or the T interval but because we know the population mean that's the Z interval so we're going to do the same thing we just did the Z interval it'll have the last thing that we all put in there we just have to go in there and tweak it alright um, population standard deviation that's 9.7 years right here above the calculator so we'll change that to 9.7 sample mean this time was 37.73 hit enter sample size was 161 drivers so 161 this time we want a 99 percent level of confidence so just 0.99 instead of 0.95 this time calculate all right there's our interval 0 0.35 it wants to two places so point or three five point seven six for the lower number and then our upper number is 39.70 alright so there's our interval now what does that interval mean this means that there is a 99% we're, we are 99% confident that the true value of all motorcyclists killed and crashes falls between 35.76 and 39.70 so we are 99 percent confident that the overall average of all motorcyclists killed falls between that range of ages not a really wide range there all right now it says the confidence interval does not contain uh, ages below 20 years what does this mean uh, it's not that there's a 99% chance the population mean will not be less than 20 years. All right, the 99% is how confident we feel that the true mean does fall in there. All right, obviously not this one. Motorcyclists rarely die in crashes. Uh, the mean of the population will never be less than 20 years. That's not the case either. Uh, the mean of the population will most likely not be less than 20 years. This is our answer. All right. And why is that the answer? Because the n there's a 99% uh, chance 
that the true po or we feel 99% confident the true population mean is between basically 36 and, and 40 years old so right in there is around 38 years old right and then we're stretching down uh, from 38 about two numbers below and two numbers up so the fact is the population mean is probably not this far away right and it's more than likely we can even take out most likely it's just not going to be that that small uh, with our data even though that's a small number uh, compared to all of them with that small of a window the chances that it's drastically s smaller which is 20 you know 20 compared to 39 um, and 35 is extremely unlikely 